Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The theory that Russia won the November election for Donald Trump through some vague meddling so dominates cable news right now that it's worth summing up exactly what we know and what we don't know about that story. As of today, there is no evidence that the Russian government tampered with voting machines or hacked any votes in November. There is no evidence that Russia collaborated with Donald Trump or his campaign to win the election. There is no evidence that Russian propaganda swung a single vote away from Hillary Clinton. There is, in other words, no reason to believe that Russia changed the course of American political history. There is merely innuendo and conspiracy mongering and connecting probably irrelevant dots. Lee Harvey Oswald spent time in Mexico City? Okay. But what does that mean exactly? Nothing significant that we know of. So why does this story persist, indeed grow by the day? One reason is that organizations like NBC News, and particularly its cable outlet, MSNBC, have gone to remarkable lengths to keep it alive. Ever see their programming? It's hour upon hour of segments like this. Rachel Maddow continues to investigate the Trump-Russia connection, exposing these details. The Trump campaign didn't just benefit from Russia interfering in our presidential campaign. The point of this is they colluded, they helped, they were in on it. The reporting shows a disturbing pattern of rolling disclosure among the president's inner circle when it comes to their contacts with Russia. Because of Russian interference in our election. I have to say tantalizing evidence of some kind of collusion. Continue Continuing influence in our country, not just during the campaign, but during the administration. Basically, signs of what could be a continuing operation. Well, it turns out there's more than a little irony here. Complaints from NBC about election meddling? Given that company's conduct over the past six months, that is a bit rich. Consider the infamous Access Hollywood tape. Now, if you were living in America last fall, you certainly remember it the shocking and vulgar remarks, the immediate and disastrous effect that tape had on candidate Trump's poll numbers. It was a political bomb detonated in the final days of the most intense political race of our lifetimes. The fallout was so overwhelming that few paused to consider where that tape came from. So let's consider that now. That tape belonged to NBC. It was shot by NBC cameramen for an NBC show on NBC property. So how did it wind up in the hands of the Washington Post, which broke the story? How, in other words, did valuable intellectual property from one news organization end up benefiting a competitor? Intentionally, that's the short answer. According to sources at NBC, the Access Hollywood tape was leaked to the Washington Post with the full knowledge of NBC brass. That would include news division head Andrew Lack. NBC's motive? To derail the Trump campaign two days before a presidential debate. Now keep in mind that the Access Hollywood tape had been sitting in an archive since it was shot 11 years before. NBC executives had known about its existence since at least last summer, months before it aired. Concerned about being accused of partisanship and perhaps worried about California's strict wiretapping law, which prohibits the recording of subjects without their knowledge, the network sat on it. But as November approached, the temptation to shut down the Trump campaign became too much. And so NBC rose the defense of Hillary Clinton and leaked that tape. And then they lied about it. Now, if you're a news organization and someone stole the story of the year out of your office, wouldn't you want to know how that happened? You'd think you would. And yet, as far as we can tell, NBC News has never conducted a meaningful internal investigation into how that tape wound up at the Washington Post. That's because they already knew the identity of the leaker. It was them. Now, all of this is more or less common knowledge, or at least commonly suspected, in the tiny world of the TV news business. As we said, Andrew Lack knew about it. So apparently did Today Show anchor Matt Lauer. And yet until now, nobody bothered to tell the public. We're doing that. By the way, we asked Lauer and Lack and the NBC PR department for their response to all of this earlier today. They declined comment. Still, the obvious question hangs in the air since we've been talking so much lately about election tampering, and it's this. What do you think played a bigger role in the 2016 race? The excess Hollywood tape or the Russian government? That's an obvious one. Just because NBC's effort failed and Donald Trump won anyway doesn't mean it's irrelevant. NBC News lied to the public to help destroy a politician they didn't like. We know that. We know they wouldn't do it again, do we? Do we know they're not doing it now? Unfortunately, we don't know that.